Hello and welcome to the series of videos about Edifex Spec Builder. Today I'm going to act as an associate of the company which is actively involved in the EDI business. We've just got a new partnership with a company called Great Supplies Inc. And one of the transactions, EDI transactions we'll be exchanging with is 850 purchase order. As a result of this meeting, we outlined several changes they want us to apply to the structure. These changes are summarized in these meeting notes. So we're going to use Spec Builder to create the new structure of the 850. So we will go to the new document creation, we'll pick X12, then we'll navigate to version 4010 and we'll create the blank standard 850 transaction. On the left side you can see the structure of 850 which is pretty familiar for everyone working with EDI. Now we need to apply different changes and customizations to this purchase order in order to begin business with Great Supplies Inc. So let's go back and revisit all the changes they want us to do. Michael Stevens said that for the uh, PO line identification they need to make it always available on the transaction. So let's go back and find the PO1, PO1 loop. In this PO1 loop uh, we can find the lean segment with item identification. Now in order to make it mandatory used we have to change the user option to must use. This is as easy as this, no other changes are needed, we already implemented one of the requirements. Now for the sake of documentation let's copy this statement and let's add what is called user node. This is just a textual node which will help other people understanding why certain customization was made to the guideline. Now let's go back and change what are the other changes they want us to do. Uh, Gina Debbie said that since they exchanged the data in US dollars we need to prohibit use of the car segment. So let's go back find the currency segment then we can go here and we can make this segment as excluded. You can also do the same operation from the ribbon here. Now this currency segment is excluded and if somebody is going to send this segment the data will be rejected with corresponding X12 acknowledgement. Uh, the next change they want us to do is limit the code set for the uh, units of measure to the actual pounds. So Let's go back to the PO1 segment. We can find the uh, units of measure and as you can see there are all of the codes which are available here by default. Now let's limit this to just the actual pounds and we can exclude the rest of the codes. Again, as you can see all the codes are listed here so the tool allows you to have full 360 degree over the EDI specification. Uh, last but not least on the documents which we will exchange with them, the printable documents, they want to have their logo of Great Supplies Inc. So let's go to the tool and we can open the document option and in the document option we can choose to print the cover page and on the logo uh, we can choose the path which will be the image with the logo of our partner. So let's go ahead and save this and now we are ready to actually print the document. Let's make the print preview to see how the document will look like. So this is the title page. As you can see there is a Great Supplies Inc. in here. We can traverse the document through the table of contents. It lists all the segments, all elements and this is an example of how certain segment or element will look like. We display all the names, uh, all the uh, requirements and how many times this segment can be used. So pretty much all the information including the user notes can be published in here. So this is how easy you can do the customizations to the ADI spec and then exchange this ADI spec with your partners to get the sign off. Thanks for your time and we'll see you next time. Thank you.